Hi, Clint Milan here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's the first uh, part in a series on WordPress, and uh, the part one is about the WordPress dashboard, and we're going to spend uh, a number of videos on the dashboard. To get to the dashboard, you come to your uh, login screen. Now remember, to get to the login screen, you have to go to a registrar, register a domain name. I've shown that in video, and you can see that on my YouTube channel. You have to point that domain name uh, towards your web host servers, and I showed how you do that. And then you want to get into your web host server, go into your cPanel, create an add-on domain. And then after you've got the add-on domain properly set up in your web host, you then go to the WordPress uh, one-click install panel icon and install a WordPress blog in your web host. And when you've done that, you'll get a confirmation email and it gives you the information to come to this screen. Now this screen is the login screen and you will have created a username and a password. You click login and it will take you to what is called the back office of your new website and that is called the dashboard. Now the dashboard um, for WordPress is laid out in a certain way and let's talk about it. There are really two sections the way I see it. One, there is a left hand sidebar it's got the dashboard tab on it, and then it has a series of sub-tabs here that are all functions that you're going to be using when you create your website. This is really where you're going to be spending most of your time. On the right-hand side, this big screen here is a display of different types of generic information that uh, you may find useful. The first one is called Right Now, and it is an at-a-glance look at your website. It tells you how many posts you have, how many pages you have, how many categories you've created, how many tags you've created in your information, gives you the comments, the approvals of those comments, how many approvals are pending, spam, etc. This is an overall look of what is going on in your website. All the other tabs over here, recent drafts, a WordPress development blog, other news, quick press. Quick press is a way to uh, input data into your a web host into your website directly from the dashboard here. Recent comments, incoming links, plugins. This is all dynamic information that you can move around. If I want to move these around, I can. The interesting thing about uh, WordPress is it's very flexible. So just be aware that you can drag and drop these sections where you want and organize the display however you want to. On the upper right hand side of the screen, there's also a drop down menu. This is where you can select which part of these, which sections of these that I've just shown you, you want shown in your dashboard. Now, I've, un I've unselected them all, I reselect them, and you can select whichever one you want to appear, depending on how you're going to use your back office. Uh, you can select the number of columns. If I want a four column, I can create four column, and now I can drag these up here and, uh, and I can maybe see more at a glance than I can otherwise. I can have a three column, I can have a two column. It defaults with a two column, I leave the two column up, but it's entirely up to you. You can make your selections and decide what, you know, what's nice for you. So that is that part of the uh, dashboard. The right hand side is where you have all these kind of gener generic information. Remember, uh, WordPress is an open source piece of software, so you're going to get a lot of news about what's going on in the WordPress world. They'll tell you what plugins are coming in, and I'll explain that, what a plugin is. You'll see some incoming links to your site, etc. It's, it's just kind of a, an interesting way to see what's going on with the site. But the workhorse, where you're going to be spending a lot of time, is on right here on this sidebar. And we're just going to quickly go through these, and then in the next videos, we'll go through them one by one. The dashboard gives you, tells you what it is, and it tells you what the dashboard is. Posts. Post is where you input information. This is where you're going to be putting in your, uh, your information as you create your, 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 your website. It also has at the top right hand screen options. All of these categories have it. You can select whether you want to dis disclose the author, the categories, the tags, the comments, the dates. You want how many posts per page you want. This is a very flexible piece of software. There already is a default post. If you want to take a look at what the post area looks like when it's got a little bit of information in it, we'll see if it uh, shows up. There we go. This is a post, by the way, that you're going to be eliminating. 
Welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. Elite, you know, edit or delete it, then start blogging. This is just, just to show you. This is the box where you put information. This is where we put your titles, and we'll go through this screen in greater detail later. The post area is uh, therefore where you put your post. The media area is where you keep a library of all the visual material that you will be loading in as you build your site, pictures, videos, uh, anything that's visual. Links is where you're going to be creating links in your sidebars to other sites and to web products you might be selling. Pages is the undynamic uh, content of your site. This is where you put um, material that is permanent. Your, your disclaimer, disclosures, your about me, your contact. This is where it goes. Any kind of information that remains static. Posts are really the kind of dynamic part of the website. And that's where the the uh, search engines like to go looking for new information. Comments is uh, exactly what it says. You control the comments that appear on your site. <clears throat> Appearance is important. This is where you create the look and feel of your site. Right now the default look is this um, blue theme here, but you can see here you can add themes. You can go get them. We'll talk about how you do that. Widgets are very important. These are the sidebar software products that control functionality in the, in the sidebars. Plugins are even more important. This is where you can uh, add software functionality that affects the entire site. It makes it very easy to make this site very useful and uh, dynamic. Uh, well, and we'll go through the plugins one by one. Users is where you establish who can uh, have access to the back office and work on it. Tools is where you can import, export data, and uh, this is where some certain plugins will install that, that help to add functionality to the site. And settings is where you're going to come first when you first start out, and I did this before. <clears throat> when I came in, I just t put a new title to the site and called it WordPress Trainer. It had a default uh, domain for my web host, and then I added a tagline, and I selected uh, <clears throat> my date and my time configuration. I click Save Changes, and that was the very first thing that I did, and we'll come back to that. And this, all of these other settings here are where you're going to create the functionality of your site, and that's where you're going to come first. If I want to see what the site looks like, there it is. That is an un, unfinished and a new WordPress site in the default looking uh, theme that comes with uh, when you first start out. So that's it. That is the dashboard. Sidebar on the left with all the important functions of working on it day to day and uh, general information uh, on the right. Let's go back to that that give you an overall look and that information you can drag and drop and select and, and work on it uh, the way you want. In the next video we're going to start back and look at uh, posts and how you put information in and, and we're also going to go down through these settings to show you how to set this up properly when you first come into your website. So that's it. This is Claude Polan on Affiliate Starting Line. Hope this has been helpful. Stay with it. Stay well. Talk to you soon.